It's Taylor from the Daddy Daughter Outdoors, and we're going to be reviewing this backpack. Well, I am, because Dad decides to sit in the background. <laughs> because he thinks that I'm more interesting than him. <laughs> All right, it's the Duder Fox 40 uh, Kids Backpack, right, Taylor? Yes. Okay, so why don't you take us through it and tell us a little bit about it. So here's the top pocket, which I would say is for stuff that is they need to get to quickly. Okay. And then we have this, which is a keychain, key chain? <laughs> or like stuff to clip onto. Okay. And then there are four of these little thingies around here, which I have no idea what they're for, but Dad, what are they for? We could probably latch something to them. I'm thinking about putting like her Z-Rest pad or something up there for her to carry. But they're just little latch latch points, so that looks cool. Maybe somebody else knows better than we do, but hey, we're Daddy Daughter Outdoors, and this is what we know. All right, and it's again, it's a duder. And then we have this, which I would say is used to be hung up, like yeah. to hang it up. Yeah, or just to pick it up. And then if we open this up, there's a pocket inside here. Got the lid. That's the lid you have to pocket in. Okay, yeah. And it's for like valuables and stuff. Here is the main backpack, like the inside of it. Here is where you keep your water filtration or whatever thing. Here where your water is. And, and it's 40 liters. That's how much space is in there. Yeah. 40 liters in there. Mm hmm. And then wherever the hole for the straw is. It's right there. There it is. Oh. So struggling. Here and then it'll lead to down here. This little. And that's on the arm last thing. On the arm. This is where the straw goes through. Okay, very good. And then when we come to the side. This pocket, which, what is this for? Whatever. I mean, stuff, other stuff you might want. I would make that a snack pocket, personally. That would be my snack pocket. For yeah. extra snack. And then we have this water bottle holder. This is the strap to keep everything nice and tight, I'm pretty sure. And mm -hmm. it can also hold your water bottle. Like, make sure it stays up. And then when we go to the other side, there's this again and then another pocket which dad calls a snack pocket all right there we go another water bottle holder or whatever you use in here and then when we come down to the bottom if i could ever open it um another pocket for that leads from the top so Back up here. Mostly we serve our sleeping bag in there usually down at the bottom there in that little pouch for a small kid's sleeping bag. Remember if you get a kid's sleeping bag there's not as much air and stuff in there with them so they stay warmer. I mean the regular adult sleeping bag will work for most seasons but if you're going to go out when it's a little colder or something you should uh, have a kid's sleeping bag for her. So. And then here's where you today. hold your hiking poles oh. on the backpack. Okay. This. No clue what this is for because there's only one side for Well, it. that's for, well, there's also another, that's for holding stuff to the back. There's daisy chains on each side for you to link uh, carabiners and stuff to carry stuff. And down here, what is this loop for? This loop? Yeah. I have no idea. That's for an ice axe. Oh, yeah. That's for an ice axe. I don't have a nice sex personally, but I would like to get one. But I probably would be afraid of climbing any type of mountains. <laughs> or any kind of ice or anything like that. You're not climbing up. Yeah, I have a, a waterfall. Fear of biking on mountains because Dad has gotten a couple of concussions biking on mountains and almost died once. Oh, that's always good to tell the people. Thanks a lot. <laughs> okay, so what do you think of the pack so far, having not hiked with it just yet? I mean, so far it's pretty comfortable. Oh, we didn't show one of the most important parts. Turn it around. 
Um, there is a thing here where you can change the size of it. It's just a Velcro strap. This strap on Velcros here. Okay. And then you put it through these different rings to size it. And then you just fold it back down. Fold it on. Okay. What are these two straps for? What are these? What are those straps for? Oh, they're to tighten up the this part, I think. To bring the backpack closer to your oh, back. Oh yeah, they're to bring. If you, if the backpack is too is too far away from your back, you gotta pull this, and it'll bring the backpack closer to your back. But if you pull it, try and even it out because one side will be closer. If you don't even it out, one side will be closer, and it will be uncomfortable. Okay. What about the hip pot hip belts on this? Are they pretty comfortable? Yeah. Yeah. There's well, no pockets on the hip belts, which is kind of disappointing. So this is going to be my uh, loadout or pack for the Duda Fox Forty for the weekend. Okay. So what are you putting in there? This is a sleeping pad yeah no. sleeping bag yeah. sleeping bag it's 30 degrees so why don't why don't we try undo taking it out of there and stuffing it in so it takes up less space all right husband wife outdoor life they just stuffed their quilts in i thought we just stuffed the sleeping bag in so it make more room for other stuff mummy bag it has a hoodie it has a hood yes hoodie yes Okay, so we got her to the Eclipse mummy bag from Cabela's. Um, we just wanted one her size so she stayed warmer. The guy at REI was nice enough to let me know that if she has a sleeping bag that's too big, it won't keep her as warm. So hopefully this lasts her at least this year or next year. I feel like I got my money's worth. But now we're going to stuff this down the bag. So stuff that in the bag. You want, don't fold it, just stuff it. Just stuff it? Yes, we want to loosely stuff it. So we don't want to fold it. So we can just stuff it in there. I took up kind of a lot of space. It did take a lot of space. But it's just in there. I think that's easier. Now oh, put yeah. your sleeping pad in there next. Is this it? Or, is this or your, your clothes. Place? Put your clothes in there next. Okay. Clothes. Bandana, a shirt, and some pants. Okay. On a weekend trip, we only take one pair of clothes usually. Now put your sleeping pad in there. Sleeping pad. Is this it? Yeah. Oh, this is mine? Yeah. Very fancy. Thermal rest sleeping pad, trail scout. Gonna take it out. We'll take the other one out and see it, but put that one in there. Make sure that down in your bag. I got it! <laughs> Alright, she got it in there. Now, tighten up this. Tight. Alright, good. Don't break it. Oh. All right, now put your things over. Oh, in here, no, 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 no. In here, I'm gonna put some of my emergency snacks in my inhaler. Yep. Snacks are important. All right, so we got that going. You want to put some of your other stuff, like your cell phone and your headlamp and your walkie-talkie? Let's see where we can put those. So let's put your headlamp up in your top part so you can get to it. You should probably put thing. my inhaler in there too. Yeah, inhaler in there. Yep, yeah, sit in there. Inhaler. inhaler. There we go. This we can clip to the front, so we'll clip this on the. Front. No, right here. Right there. Clip. Perfect. Clip it so on. So we're gonna clip this on the. It doesn't want to clip on. There we go. All right, that's clipped on good. My phone. Phone. Pocket. Where you gonna, phone's gonna go just in your regular pocket. Yes, my regular pocket. That's my regular pocket. Okay, that's all the stuff you'll be carrying then, basically, right? Yes. Okay, so let's put it on now. My water bottle. Oh, water bottle. I'm gonna stick the water bottle. Uh -oh. Sorry, pocket there. How do I loosen? So I 
Go, got the zipper. Zipper, you got the zipper. Is that back zipper here? How you feel? Kind of heavy. It's kind of heavy? Yeah, a little bit. I feel it on my hips. These adjust up and, up and down. So I'll move them down. That's tight. Better? Is this too tight across this yeah, way? Yeah, it's too tight across this way. There we go. Now that's. There we go. Okay, so that's why we wear it before we take it out, so we can adjust it. What about the weight pulling forward? You need to pull it forward or move it back more? Back. Back more? Yeah. All right. There we go. You all set? Yes. We're doing the Fox 40 backpack, and so far, it feels good. I feel like I can walk a couple miles with this. Okay, so let's take a look, picture you in it. Go ahead and walk. So it sits on her. All right, so tell us what you think. Is it comfortable? Yes. It's comfortable. How about the shoulder straps? I can feel it a little bit on my shoulders, but. I feel a little bit on your shoulders? Yeah. Okay. I feel like Hip it's evened out. Hip straps are good? Yeah. Are they tight enough? Mm hmm. Okay. What do you think? You're doing pretty good here. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Go ahead. Is it too heavy? No. No? Pretty comfortable? Mm -hmm. Feel like you get a good walk going in it? Mm -hmm. So we're just going to take a little walk. Thought uh, just get her used to having it on and walking with it. Again, it's the Duder Fox 40. Still got all the tags on it. But uh, it looks like it fits her pretty good. Um, it's the right size like and in, in width and everything for her. I particularly like it for her. Um, I tried a very small adult bag and it just, it sagged in the middle. It just wasn't, wasn't right for her. So this one seems pretty good. Like I said, we're just gonna go for a short walk through the neighborhood just to kind of test it out. Make sure it is what we think it is, but so far so good she's got a nice pack and 